a vlog. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You ask. Okay. Here's my question. Okay. I have two questions. Okay. For the people want to know. Okay. When are you gonna grow your beard back? <laughs> That's right, once a year, we gotta do it. Ask me anything. Question of the day, what do you wanna ask me down in the comments? All right, come on. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, there we go, a little H2O. Okay, um, so an Ask Me Anything vlog, again, about once a year, I like to do one of these, is a perfect opportunity to do it today because of yesterday's membership launch. Um, and I'm gonna do my best. I've been stretching my fingers all morning, ready to type as fast as I can down in the comments. Um, so if, just bear with me. If I don't get to your comment immediately, I'll keep working on it uh, throughout today. Uh, but a couple questions were coming up about, do, does somebody have to become a member in order to watch the vlog or is the vlog changing at all? The vlog is not changing at all, okay? Publishing every single day. It's available for every single person out there in the world, whoever wants to watch it. Um, so the vlog is not changing. The publish, like I'm gonna publish every single day still and then also uh, publishing every morning at 5 a.m. as well. So just wanted to clarify that because that question was coming up a little bit in yesterday's comments. Oh man, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, okay, a little tea time, turmeric. When I wake up in the morning and I see your face, I'm becoming blind by a dazzling gaze. What a beautiful feeling to be close to you. There's nothing else I want to do. Ooh, and from the fields of flowers you chose to pick me. Now I'm sure that, hold on, let me grab grab my tea here. I'm sure that some of the questions down below are going to be related to my warm-up routine. And just so you know, I've made a vlog about my prehab. So what I do to stay healthy as a runner, upper right hand corner in case you haven't seen it. I think the vlog is about an hour long, but I walk through all the exercises that I do here at the house uh, to try and stay healthy. But in addition, I'm realizing I need to make a vlog all about my warm-up routine, so just the warm-up. And uh, it might even happen tomorrow, actually. I heard the weather might change here in Denver tomorrow. We shall see, but um, so all the steps that I take to warm my legs up before going out for a run, which, okay, you know, what am I always saying? It's all about time. I don't warm up perfectly every single day, just so you know, because why? Time. Um, and if you do warm up every single day perfectly, Kudos to you, that's amazing. That's something um, I keep aspiring to. I'll just put it that way. Striving, striving on this earth. So, okay, turn this guy on. Woo. Speaking of prehab and taking care of the body, it's pretty amazing mentally what happens to me when I get injured up in the brain. Like when I'm hurt as a runner, a switch goes off in my mind where I am all in on getting healthy as quick as possible. I'm not sure if that happens to you out there. Like I attack the injury immediately because I want to get back to running as quick as possible. And uh, I wish I had that, uh, that uh, approach, that mental edge, that um, enthusiasm for the little stuff in my running routine all the time. It's 20, 20 years into running and I'm still working on it. I'm still, so I'm, I'm, journey, I'm on a journey just like all of you out there. Like I just, am, I'm always trying to get better in the prehab department rather than the rehab department. All right, out we go. Shootio time, shootio. Definitely a heater kind of day.
Okay, put that there. And I am, I read your comments. I read your comments, everyone. Someone asked a couple days ago, Seth, does your studio smell really bad with all these running shoes sitting in here? And it does not. So a little tip of the day, Lumi Outdoors Home Essentials family owned business. This is their lemon and eucalyptus uh, spray and it's their uh, odor eliminator. Uh, so I use this maybe like twice a month. I'll come out and I'll spray the shoes just to, just to freshen them up a little bit, especially the shoes that live inside the house. So anyway, Lumi Outdoors, um, it, it keeps the studio fresh. All right, let's get ready up here. Test one, two, three. Test, 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 test. One, two, three. In the studio, test, test, test. Okay, here we go. Hello, everybody. Here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness. How's everybody doing? Welcome. What are you gonna do? I said I'd go live for 30 minutes. It turned into 50 minutes. It's like once we get going in the live stream chat, and so I love the comments down below the vlogs, but the live stream chat is just, um, cause I can, I can react and answer questions in real time. And the conversations that end up happening in the live chat are just amazing. So, oh my goodness, so good. Okay, I'm going for my run three miles, nice and easy. So I guess I should mention this. Uh, I've been running a lot, first of all, in the Ultra Torin 4.5 plush. Love that shoe for easy days. But this week is a 40 mile. So this is my first week back after two weeks off. So my strategy for building up my volume, oh boy, you get me, here we go, here we go, buckle up. Building my volume, I'm a big proponent early in the training block, not running at high volume, not even medium volume, but pretty low for me. Okay, 40 miles for the week is, is not much for me. For you, it might be 15. For you, it might be 55. Probably not, but maybe it is. Um, so for me, 40. Next week, I'll go 60. The following week, I'll go 80. And then after that, I'll increase 10 miles per week until I arrive basically at 110. And then I will reevaluate as to how the body is reacting to the training. And more importantly, um, is the body ready for the speed work? Now, I will start the speed work and the interval training earlier in the training block. Um, to be specific, it's gonna be like, well, it's actually gonna happen next week with strides, okay, baby strides, nothing crazy. And then, but it won't get really kind of, I'll say intense until about week four or five in the training block. Again, training plan is inside. We're not gonna dive into it right now. All right, enough talking, let's go run. A quick scheduling note for the blog, if you need or are interested in buying new uh, winter gloves, I have, I think it's four, might even be five pairs on, on the way to my house to test for all of you, okay? I have some pairs, uh, but frankly, the gloves that I own, they're not even really considered, I would consider running gloves. So the ones that I picked up just like a couple days ago, so they should arrive in the next couple days, um, are actually designed for running, can't wait. I think like New Balance, Adidas, uh, what else? Uh, gosh, I went, I went a little crazy, got a Patagonia pair. Re I've never worn anything Patagonia. So here we go, all right. Uh, so if you, anyway, stay tuned for that vlog sooner rather than later. Look who's crushing it. There she goes, getting her workout in, crushing it. She's on her cool down right now. Yeah, I'm just uh, getting this shot. Very fascinating to go three days in a row in zero drop and then switch to Hoka. I think these are the, these are the Clifton 7s, but I think they, what is it? Uh, it's a four or six. Anyway, I can feel it. The drop makes a difference. Alright, 
boys. You come sit. Dinner time. Dinner. Okay, hon. Here's the deal. Boys, the question of the day for today's vlog was ask me anything. 2020. So, mama gets to go. All right, here comes the mic. And do the, all the kids get to go? Oh, we, okay, we'll, well see well. if we can. <laughs> if you all want a 20-minute vlog. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You ask. Okay, here's my question. Okay. I have two questions. Okay. Perfect. The people want to know. Okay. When are you going to grow your beard back? Uh, perfect. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and then, how did you come up with a new and brilliant and informative and helpful and brilliant idea for every single day oh for four and a half years? For four and a half I'm years. I'm proud of that. Oh, man. Oh, Henry's got it. Okay, Henry's got the mic. The beard, does the beard need to come back? Let me know in the comments, everyone. Do we need a beard? Um, no shave November. You know what? Maybe we need a beard emoji. Did you know the, oh. the the new butter emojis? Now that we have members, thank you by the way, um, we, we we can create like nine yes. nine more yes. right now. Oh, so wow. it's amazing. Okay, and we're back. All right, <laughs> Michael got really excited about his bike. I'm back. So how? The number one way is to read your comments down below. That's where the ideas come from for the vlogs moving forward. And then it's also connected to, you know, my training and yeah. connected to your life, your living. Yeah, the life and the living. It's you don't you don't want to overthink the ideas for the vlogs. It's I like to take the approach of as natural as possible whatever is happening That's out so there. So, thanks for asking. Thanks for being here. Again, I'll be typing as quick as I can down below and we love you thanks for being here thanks for watching butter that bread a hundred percent and we're gonna toss it back to Joseph right where Joseph's sitting to the uh, membership vlog from yesterday so all right thanks for signing up everyone it's good it's good all right seek beauty work hard and love each, each other. other see you tomorrow, tomorrow.